Hello and welcome to Forex.Academy, your number one website for Forex and crypto education and analysis. In today's edition, we're going to be discussing the new Cold War. If we believe everything that Western media companies tell us about China, and in particular regarding the Uyghur Muslims of the Xinjiang province, we could have a right to be extremely concerned. Human rights advocates are calling it a cultural genocide. Max Blumenthal is an American investigative journalist for The Grey Zone, and he believes that the US corporate media and US governments are deliberately sending out false news about China in order to disrupt China's global rise to being a superpower and advancing the USA as the number one economic and military power. He calls the Executive Commission on China anti-China institutions, while Donald Trump refers to China as liars, thieves, and where he refers to the pandemic as a Chinese virus. Grey Zone uses reliable sources to provide information regarding various US departments which are actively initiating anti-China propaganda to destabilize China's continuing economic growth. Max reports that while in meeting recently in Congress, Capitol Hill, he met Omar Khanat, who is the leader of the World Uyghur Congress, a multi-million US dollar dissident group which is entirely funded by the US government. They are primarily focused on regime change and are heavily responsible for providing the Western media with reports about Uyghurs. Max immediately confronted Kanat about the story from 2018 about concentration camps in Xinjiang, where millions of these Muslims were supposedly imprisoned. Kanat admitted that he was supplying Western media sources with the information about these camps and human rights abuses, and Kanat told him that some stories were provided by other Western media sources and some were direct witness statements. This feedback loop, as Max calls it, is the reason why the story is being fueled by misinformation to portray China as a new Nazi Germany to the West. Greyzone dug deeper and was only able to find two other sources to back up the concentration camp story. One was Adrian Zenz, a evangelical fanatic, who in his 2010 book Worthy to Escape, Zenz has declared he is on a mission from God to wipe out the Chinese Communist Party, which he views as a satanic entity. Zen believes homosexuals are evil and yet has been called as a witness by some US media groups to provide evidence on the human rights abuses of millions of Uyghur Muslims, so-called concentration camps in Xinjiang province. The other source Max found was the group Chinese Human Rights Defenders, which is a dissident group based in Washington and funded by the US government. The group says it has a testimony from eight Uyghur Muslims. Max says that there is simply not enough evidence to collaborate the stories of forced labor, human rights abuses, extermination of Muslims and their culture, or even that these camps exist. The Chinese media group CGTN interviewed Jerry Gray, a dual English Australian passport holder and ex-UK police officer with 10 years of service. He has travelled extensively five times around China and much on his bicycle since retiring in 2005. He travelled to Xinjiang by plane in 2019 and says there were no restrictions there. He could hear the call to pray four to five times per day and witness many mosques. This is something he saw all over China, with some towns having three to four mosques, and Wiki reports a total of 25,000 mosques in the region alone. He said he could hear the Uyghurs' language being used everywhere, and that it was just not true that Uyghurs are indeed the Muslim way of life is being eradicated by the Chinese. What's more, he could find no evidence of concentration camps while travelling freely in the province. So are we being fed the truth? The narrative is predominantly being driven by the US media groups and they are being led by the US government. The flames are then being fueled by other Western governments including Great Britain and many other countries in Europe and Australia. In fact, US officials have been flying around the world looking for support in the so-called flight for injustice and human rights abuses in mainland China and Hong Kong since the new security bill was passed in June 2020. So who is right and who is wrong? If you believe the above, then it is clearly evident that we are not being fed the correct information about the Chinese Muslims and human rights abuses, and it would appear that the misinformation and fake news is being used to destabilize the Chinese economy, possibly with the effect of slowing it down in order to maintain United States economic supremacy. What does this mean for us traders? We are all seeing the same volatility in the markets every single day right now, and while much of this is due to the economic fallout from the pandemic, a great deal of this is because of the continuing spat between the United States and China, where this looks to have no end in sight. Therefore traders should be looking out for updates on the status between the relationship of these two powerhouses and expect more market volatility to come. If you enjoyed the video then please like and subscribe and leave a comment down below about anything you would like us to discuss in future or if you have any questions about this particular video. Have a great day.